G'day, this is Gary007 and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at Arvorian 2.0 and what's been released so far to us that we know of. If you like this sort of content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the thumbs up and leave a comment below about your thoughts on all the perks that have been released in 2.0. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So they've released uh, some news in regards to new captains and new captains will come with their own perks and quirks. So basically we will get specialized captains within the game to perform particular roles that you would have built ships for like mining, scavenging, combat. So they've built captains around that premise by the looks of it to give it a bit of flavor within the game. So obviously you'll have a merchant captain, you'll have a scavenger captain, it looks like you'll have a daredevil captain. <laughs> that looks like a combat captain, basically. Uh, that will be specialized in a particular area. Now, it looks like here in the fine print that if you put a daredevil into a mining vessel and get him to go mine, your captain will be just as good as the regular captains that are in game. It looks like that they have made it so that if you make the mistake of putting in the wrong captain into the wrong area, it looks like there's a bit of leniency there so that you'll, you'll still do mining in a daredevil captain, but it won't be as efficient. It's not what you paid for, basically. It's not where the daredevil does his best work. So it'd be interesting to see what overall impact captains have on the game when this gets introduced how much of an impact will it have will it have a 10 percent impact will it have a 15 percent impact yeah it'd be interesting to see what happens with this so independent targeting looks like it's gone through a bit of a change as well so i'll just read from the horse's mouth with the steam news page let's start off with the most important change Tarrant set to auto targeting will no longer deal negative 50% damage. So that's the big news. So you don't get a penalty with the 50, negative 50% damage when you use independent targeting. The 2.0 update will allow you to set a certain number of tarrants to independent targeting based on slot system. We also made it easier to keep an eye on the tarrant slots you have available, showing which tarrants need multiple slots and what kinds of slots are still unoccupied so from the outside looking in on this it looks like they've redone the ui to support auto tarrant slots so you can see arm tarrant slots in there defensive tarrant slots and auto tarrant slots and then obviously energy consumed so the wording of this worries me a little bit and the negative 50 percent damage so you no longer have the penalty but is the penalty going to come later on in the tarrant control system and limiting how many independent targeting systems you can have on your ship if that is the case then i'll probably just run a mod and overwrite all of this <laughs> uh, interesting to note that they've done this with defensive tarrant slots as well so pdc tarrant slots defensive slot systems it sounds like that they've done this as well so they'll have their own tarrant control system as well it'd be interesting to see if this is a nerf overall or a buff i'm not sure it sounds like a bit of a nerf to me it sounds like you're going to have to run multiple tarrant control systems to do exactly the same thing but i could be wrong it'd be interesting to see how this is all um, implemented and yeah last but not least new ui changes so the ui looks like it's going through some visual changes and also the new hud so the new hud looks like it's a little bit more cleaner i actually like the new hud that looks really good and of course the new uh, subsystem tabs so they've changed the they've got a before and after and they've changed the way it's laid out i actually like the way they've got processing power in the middle of all of that so you can keep a track of what you need to run all your subsystems so that looks really really cool cool it needed a new paint job so they basically gone ahead and done that it'd be interesting they haven't released anything in regards to how in chain commands work and how they're going to implement that into avorian to make things easier because that's what i'm really really after and i'm really keen on so overall the changes that they've released look pretty cool i am a little bit worried about the independent targeting and whether that's a real nerf at the end of the day uh, also with avorian and the changes that are coming with 2.0 i know that i haven't been releasing content as of late 
I'm actually holding back for Avorian 2.0. So when Avorian 2.0 gets released, I am going to release a lot of new beginner guides and start going through the whole process of guides when it comes to building beginner guides to help people come into the game get familiar with the game and the tool tips that are in front of them to try and yeah just make it easier for new people coming into the game and so they can get their head around it all so i've looked at a lot of my guides and they are like a year old i can't believe it's been a year or so for some of my guides so <laughs> so i'm going to go through and update a lot of those guides that it's once 2.0 is released so that's just on the back burner on the back of my mind all right thanks for listening to a knucklehead like me and i'll see you out in the galaxy all right then bye